Hey there, hi there, ho there, welcome back. Let's jump into Unit 4, something called Stratigraphy and the Earth's Age. So in this we're going to talk about the age of the Earth, the age of rocks, how we know that, sequences of events. Um, let's just dive into it, shall we? So the first thing we want to talk about is dating rocks. Not like taking them out for a date, but... How can we put a, a, an age an, uh, or maybe a number or describe how old a certain rock is? Well, there's a few different ways. The first way to date a rock is using something called the absolute age. This is the, the numeric age of a rock or a fossil. It's like saying, oh, this rock is 250 million years old. This fossil is uh, eight million years old, whatever it may be. Putting a specific number on it, that's the absolute age. It can be determined by using a fancy equipment like what you see here and a process called radiometric dating. Uh, more on that a little later. And it's often sometimes we don't necessarily have to deal with absolute age to figure out ge geology. We don't necessarily have to know a precise number to figure out geology. It helps, but not always. So we have absolute age, that's one way to date a rock. Another is a geologic age. So not, you know, saying, oh, it's exactly this, but putting it in kind of a, a period of time, a general period of time. Um, uh, so that's looking at the geologic age. So a timeline, a geologic time scale was created. Um, it really is broken up based on major events that occurred on Earth. Um, a lot of times these different um, uh, geologic ages broken up into different eons, uh, smaller chunks, eras. Eras are broken up into periods. Some periods are broken up into epochs. And so um, typically in geology we talk about periods and the difference between periods, um, you can see the numerical ages here, but it's usually uh, something in the rock record that has changed. The, all of a sudden there's a certain kind of life has evolved and sprung up or there was a mass extinction and stuff went away or some major geologic change in, in the rock layer. That's usually what kind of breaks up uh, the different periods. So something in the rock record that, that is different, that breaks it up. So instead of saying a rock is, you know, 82 million years old, we can say, oh, this rock is from the Cretaceous period. Or instead of saying a fossil is 220 million years old, we can say, oh, it's from the Triassic period. So not giving it a specific number, but kind of putting it in a, a time frame, a range. That's the geologic age. <clears throat> and then third is the least descriptive, but it can actually be the most helpful. And that's relative age. The relative age is the age of a rock fossil or some other geologic feature relative to another feature. Meaning, this is older than that. Let me give you an example of all three. Um, my, uh, my sister is 32. That's an absolute age. My sister's in her 30s. It's a range. That'd be like geologic age. Or relative age, my sister is younger than me. Or I am older than my sister. Relative to something else, this thing is older, this thing is younger. So that's another way to look at geologic age. Just by saying something's older, something's younger. It can be, uh, in rocks, it can be determined simply by looking at the position of rock layers and other features. So looking at these layers of rock and just knowing a little bit about rocks, how they form, and saying, oh, this is older than that. This happened first, this happened second. Relative age. And that actually can be a very powerful tool. You don't need to know anything about exact numbers and have fancy equipment to give you an absolute age. You don't need to have a geologic time scale, know what which rocks, which fossils came from which period to put it in a particular time period. You don't need to know any of that. So relative age, you can just look, at, for instance, at this like outcrop. You can just look at it and say, oh, this is older than that. So this came first, this came second, this happened, this happened, blah, 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 blah. It's a very powerful tool. It's, you're speaking in generalities, but it's a very powerful tool. And that's actually what will be uh, the topic of our next section is relative age. Now we're going to go backwards, so we'll talk about relative age for a little while, and we'll talk about geologic age, and then we'll finish with absolute age as we go through this unit. So we'll pause here, 
When we come back, we'll expand a little bit more on this relative age. This thing is older than that thing, or this thing is younger than that thing. I'll see you back here in just a second.